Salutations softball Sundayers and welcome to an especially sunny softball Sunday where today we strive to strengthen our strumming situation via Dave Grohl's solo acoustic rendition of Wheels. This video is for Rodney M. Farner Jr., Dylan King the 19th, and Richard Carlson of Ulm. Capo 2, and you only need four super easy chords for this song. This is like Foo Fighters' Wonderwall. C add 9, which is just like four finger G, but your middle and your pointer fingers go down one string towards the earth. Followed by G, that's easy. E minor 7, there's lots of ways to play E minor 7. The way Dave Grohl does it is very convenient. All you do from G is remove your middle finger. Not permanently, just from the guitar. <laughs> and then D. So, C add 9, G, E minor 7, D. And you could go through the whole song and just play it, just strum it normal however you want, but I have extracted two strumming exercises that we're going to do now. But first, a little bit of housekeeping. This is all about counting and strumming. It's counting and strumming. So if I say a number, one, two, three, four, those are always going to be down strums. Ands, on the other hand, are always up strums. And the chicka. The chicka is when you just mute the strings and you chicka. You down up with muted strings. Here we go. Now this first exercise concerns the intro and we also have a little side game going on called how many times am I going to have to change my shirt? Good grief, it's hot out here today. Okay, grab your C add 9 and we're going to go. Down, down, chicka, G. Down, down, chicka, G. Down, down. Now notice that the chicka is really useful in the switching chords department. You disguise your chord change in the chicka so that you get to the next chord on time. Down, down, chicka, G. Down, down, up. Same rhythm between the E minor 7 and the D. Down, down, chicka, D. Down, down, up. Down, down, chicka, G. And the count of that rhythm is actually pretty interesting. Normally, in normal city Utah, each chord gets four beats, right? And that would be one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. But I'll bet you just intuited that that's not what's going on in that strumming pattern. The second and the fourth chords, the G and the D actually get one extra beat. They intrude on the measure of the previous chord. So the count on this is going to be one is going to be <laughs> one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, four, and you switch to chords two and four, the G and the D, on the fourth beat of the last chord's measure. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, four, and. And I would encourage you to go slow and literally say that just as I did as you do it. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, four, and. will help you develop, you know, an innate feel, a natural feel of where the beats in the measures are. <laughs> this second exercise concerns the verse and it's quite a bit more complicated than the first one. We're going to have three different patterns for the four measures. On the C measure, the first one, we're just going to go down, 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 up. Simple enough. One, two, three, four, and on the G measure, we're just going to do four down strums. One, two, three, four. So far. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. But the E minor seven measure and the D measure, they're a little bit weird. We're going to go chicka, two, three, four, and chicka, two, three, four, and. They're the same. Chicka, two, three, four, and. Whole thing nice and slow. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. Chicka, two, three, four, and chicka, two, three, four, and. 
and keeping track of all these different times you're supposed to do a slightly different or very different pattern is really going to help you be more comfortable and fluid with your own strumming as you start to be more off the cuff and less you know following what you're supposed to be doing because of course Dave Grohl is very comfortable on the guitar and he's not doing exactly this every single time it would be a fool's errand to try to document every strum he does he's doing it off the cuff with his you know internal rhythm so here we go one two three four and one two three four chicka two three four and chicka two three four and there are parts in this song where it's it's normalville utah or whatever i said look for something better man he's just kind of cruising you'll feel it do normal stuff And especially with, you know, there's only one chord progression in this song, so he makes it quite a bit more interesting by varying the rhythm, borrowing a beat from a measure here, doing a chicka at the beginning of another measure there. Brilliant. Softball Sunday bonus, the little solo he does in the middle. This is super fun. And I'm going to call this fret the seventh fret, even though it's the fifth fret relative to the capo, because we're going to be up here and we don't want to have to do math. Grab G7, B10, strum just those two strings three times. One, two, three. Then our G7 becomes G9. You're going to strum that four times. One, two, three, four. So far. One, two, three. Then we go from 9, 10 to 10, 11, B, G, and you're going to strum that four times. One, two, three, four, but on the fourth time, the B is going to become 12. One, two, three, four. And now we have one, two, three, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, and then three strums on 9, 9 followed by the Bananarama B string from 10 to 9 as a pull-off and G string from 11 to 9 as a pull-off. Whole thing. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. For the little solo. And that's that. So I hope you have a really good time doing that. A little more, you know, slow and detailed than I usually go, which is why today's evolution bell comment is so apropos. I might not even call this an evolution bell comment entirely, but it's what we always call it. The Mario Man says, how long does it take to learn this stuff? I've had a guitar for two months now, and it's pissing me off how difficult it is. I thought you'd just pick up the guitar and play. <laughs> like what my one buddy says, P90X, I've watched those videos dozens of times and nothing happens. Yes, learning the guitar is difficult. It requires time, practice, and patience. I actually don't like the word practice. I just call it playing time playing the guitar and patience. And some of the best advice I ever received uh, was to list out the 20 things I most want to do, become good at in life, and cross out numbers 4 through 20 and avoid those like the play because things take time, doing it, and patience. <laughs> Thank you all so much for being here. Oh yeah. Ow. I hope that was fun and helpful, and I'll see you next time with more stuff. Goodbye.